We are standing in the Freer Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., looking at this piece made by Beshicher called Yahangir Preferring a Sufi Sheikh to Kings. This piece was made in circa 1620 and is made of watercolor and ink on paper, which delivers a stunning sight to the viewer. This piece in specific is an Indian Mughal painting, and they are known for having excelled at making crowded and colorful pieces. True, and this is seen in this piece in its complexity and its intense use of color. This style was mastered by Beshitar, who was a court painter to Yahangir during the time of Mughal rule in India. In fact, the work features a self-portrait in the lower left corner. He is one of the five men depicted in the scene, the main one being Yahangir and the Sufi Sheikh. Among these two, an exchange is depicted in which there is a book being handed to one another. A certain detail about this exchange, however, is that the book is wrapped by cloth, so the Sheikh does not touch Yahangir since it was a cultural taboo. Yeah, and what this piece is portraying is the importance of spiritual life above the powers in the physical realm as seen in here. Since Yahangir is his chosen to exchange with the sheikh instead of the sultan or the king, it emphasizes the importance of spiritual life over worldly powers. Another subject in the scene is the Ottoman sultan, who stands lower than the sheikh. He wears an extravagant turban and gold embroidered robe, which distinguishes him as a foreigner. And just below him is King James, who is only showing one hand. This is a choice made by Bashir himself to avoid wrong interpretations of the king's intentions. Now, let's take a look at some of the symbolism in this piece. We can see numerous cherubs, but the most notable are the two which serve to present his message translated from Farsi. O Shah, may the span of your life be a thousand years. These write out the message at the base of the hourglass in which Yahangir sits, thus creating a clear message about the passage of time in relation to the king. Then we see the two other cherubs at the top of the painting. The one on the left holds a broken bow, while the one on the right covers his eyes, maybe protecting himself from the bright light emanating from the emperor or mourning his imminent death. This light radiates from the fusion of the sun and the crescent moon that stands behind Yahangir in the form of a halo, symbolizing his divine rule and truth. In Beshitar's hands, we can see him holding a frame in which a man is kneeling alongside an elephant and two horses. This shows his gratitude and humility towards his emperor while establishing his Hindu status in a Muslim court. Finally, in this piece, cross-cultural interactions and influence is seen. Not only does the appearance of the Sultan and King James show this, but rather, other details are seen in this piece. Like the Renaissance carpet in the background which shows European influence. Mm -hmm. And it also shows small cherubs in the back, which is another reference from European paintings along with the halo around Yahangir. 